Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back, everybody, for another Wednesday Words of Wisdom with Arnon. I'm excited to be here. Looking forward to spend time with you guys. Um, today, we want to talk about something that huh, has become a very hot topic in recent months, last one or two years specifically. Um, so we have Instagram in the house. We have Facebook in the house. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was cryptocurrencies. The cryptocurrency, give you guys a cryptocurrency update and to share with you guys what I am personally doing in the crypto space. So good to see you guys. Looking forward to spending some time with you as always. Let's dive. Let's dive right in. So for those of you who don't know or might not know, uh, I've been into cryptocurrencies. Uh, I went all in rather. I went all in um, into crypto in 2018. Um, my portfolio is predominantly dominated by Bitcoin and then Ethereum, but I'm spread over about 35, 40 different coins. Um, in different areas in the crypto space, right? So gaming coins, level one coins, um, you know, scaling coins, you've got your polygon and, you know, so I'm, I'm spread over what I would consider a very, very good range of coins covering different spaces, right? And like I said, I went all in, all in in 2018. Now, as you all know, the crypto markets are down. The crypto markets are down. But so is the stock market and so are other uh, areas. If you look at where we are right now in the world, and I've been saying this for months, I personally believe that we are in a recession and have been in a recession for a few good months already. Now, I don't need a degree in economics I don't need a politician dressed in a suit and a tie to come out and tell me we're in a recession. Look around. Look at gas prices. Look at food prices. Look at housing prices. Look at what's going on in the world. And so I personally believe, Rami, good to see you. I personally believe that we've been in a recession for months and months already. Okay? And so... One of the ways I've prepared for the recession is by simply getting my finances and my money right. I know a lot of business owners that one of the reasons they've gone bankrupt or gonna go bankrupt is not because they don't know how to make money, not because they don't know how to help a lot of people, happy to see you too, my friend, but because they don't know how to manage or master their money. So... What I'm doing right now in the crypto space, as I said, I'm spread over about 40 different coins. My dominant position is Bitcoin and then Ethereum. Um, obviously, I hold a lot of Cardano, Chainlink, Polygon. Great. But, and by the way, I'm not telling any of you to go out and buy any of these coins. Do your own research, right? Do your own research. But what, what I'm currently doing at this moment is, first of all, Probably like a lot of you watching this, my portfolio is down, okay? And when I say my portfolio is down, I'm talking about in the millions of dollars, okay? So it's not like my portfolio is down uh, by 100 euros or 100 pounds. Like my portfolio is down seven figures down. And that's okay, that's okay. My lesson, let's start with the lesson. My lesson is when you're in a bull market and things are... Everybody is, is greedy, take more profit. That was one of my biggest mistakes. I didn't take more profits. I should have taken more profit, and I didn't. Lesson, lesson. That's number one. Number two, what I'm currently doing right now is I am buying more Bitcoin, okay? I'm not touching the other 35, 38 different coins. I'm not touching them. I am adding a little bit here and a little bit there in two or three other coins like Cardano is interesting for me, Chainlink is interesting for me, Polygon is interesting for me, but primarily 90%, 95% of any investment that I'm going to make right now, especially now in the next coming months, it will be in Bitcoin. Why? 
because it's the granddaddy. It's the big boy on the block. And it's the safest and most secure um, coin or uh, 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 software, whatever you want to call it, that exists. Okay, now people will argue, you know, there's a lot of Bitcoin maximalists. They don't recognize all the other cryptocurrencies, and that's okay. I personally, I love Bitcoin, but I also look at other coins. Now, why am I recording this video for you guys? A lot of people have been very worried about what's happening in the marketplace. A lot of people have gone from millionaires to 100,000 heirs, right? Because your cryptocurrency is down, right? But here's the thing. I know for a fact two very important factors. Number one, if you're a business owner, if you're a business leader, focus on getting through 2022. I'm telling all the co clients that I coach, everybody I work with, the goal is to get our businesses to 2023. Because I believe the market will start to recover in 2023. That's my advice, okay? Number one. Number two, I also know for a fact that in 2024, in about 650 days, plus minus, 650, 700 days from now, the next Bitcoin halving is happening. And historically, every time there's a halving, Bitcoin goes up. It explodes in price like it just did. It went in the bear market from $3,000 all the way to about $70,000. So do I expect that to happen again? Absolutely. However, this time, adoption is greater. More people are getting into crypto. More people are buying Bitcoin. There's more adoption with... with by 2025, the expected number of people in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies will be around 1 billion people. Meaning, you, my friends, you, 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 and you, and me, we are all early. Early. Like, you guys have no idea how early you are. Like, in 10 years from now, if you tell someone, I got into crypto in 2022, they'll look at you and say, oh my God, you were early. Crypto adoption right now, cryptocurrency adoption right now is about, about 300 million people. 300, maybe, maybe 350 million people. Now, you might be sitting there and saying, whoa, 300 million, 350 million people in the world using crypto. That's a lot. Yeah, but there is 8 billion people on the planet. There's 8 billion people on the planet. So you are so early. So if you're looking at price right now and you're worried about Bitcoin, listen, Dollar cost average. That's what I'm doing. Dollar cost average. I'm buying a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. Right? Number one. Number two, when people are fearful, be greedy. And when people are greedy, be fearful. And now everybody's afraid. If you look at the fear and greed index... Um, the fear and greed index is about at seven, six, seven, eight right now, which is incredibly fearful. And remember, my friends, in bull markets, that's where we make money. But in bear markets, that's where we create wealth. And so we are in a bear market right now. But remember, markets work in cycles, in cycles, right? Right? Feast, famine, feast, famine, feast, famine, boom, bust, boom, bust, boom, bust. We are in a famine market. We're in a bust market right now. So how long will it take us to recover? I don't know. 
But like I said, I'm preparing everybody that I work with, everybody that I coach, to focus and get to 2023. If we can get our businesses, if we can hold up everything we own until 2023, I believe the market by then will have turned or start to turn and things will get better. Now, let me say this. I do believe things will get worse before they get better. You know, they're talking about inflation rates of 6%, 8%. Listen, listen. I believe that inflation right now is closer to 15%, 18%, 20%. Okay, that, that's what I believe. So all well said and done. Again, I don't believe these politicians. I don't trust them. You know, they print money like it's going out, out of fashion. You can't just print money, guys. You can't just print money and expect everything to be okay. And that's what we're seeing today. Younger generations, they don't want the old legacy system. They don't want the old monetary system. They're like, I don't want your old monetary system. And that's why Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are being adopted so quickly. Because people are curious about exiting the, the current financial system and taking control of their own money. So if you're in a situation right now where you're, where you're hurting financially or your cryptocurrency portfolio is down, stay calm, breathe. And I would recommend don't look at your portfolio for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. If anything, and this is just me, this is what I'm doing. I'm not telling you to do this. If anything, what I'm doing is I'm slowly, slowly buying more Bitcoin, more Bitcoin, more Bitcoin, more Bitcoin. Because the reality is you can never have enough Bitcoin. But my big message to all of you, my big message to all of you watching this right now is stay calm, stay centered, and focused, focus on generating cash. Right now, in a bust market, in a market that is famine, Focus on generating cash flow. If you're going to invest money, invest in something that's going to give you an interest. If you put your money into something, make sure you're getting 8%, 9%, 10% on your money. Cash flow is king right now. So just wanted to come to you and give you, give you guys some words of wisdom. Um, say hello to all of you. Uh, good, good seeing all of you here. Stay calm. Let's get to 2023. Keep your head down. Don't spend money in a stupid way. Be smart about your finances. And where you can, where you can, uh, what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. I'm buying a little bit of Bitcoin here and there because I believe, this is my belief, that we will go up again. And when we go up, we will break the old all-time high, which is around $69,000. And so I'm just excited. I'm calm. I'm centered. I'm relaxed. I'm not looking at my portfolio every day. I'm focused on work, on business, adding value to the marketplace, focused on my family. But I know we will recover. That's what I honestly believe. So, uh, Renee, you're welcome. Appreciate that. Uh, Got to wish you guys a great day, a wonderful week. Stay strong, stay centered. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a DM. Love to hear from you guys. Timor, good to see you, buddy. And uh, yeah, we stay in touch. And I uh, just want to wish you uh, a lot of strength. Yeah. Ciao, guys.